So, you know, uh, this is not the time to to give up. Yeah, it is very hard. It is very, very hard for, you know, I know how difficult it uh, can be for so many people out there. You know, I count myself um, lucky in the sense that um, for the fact that we, 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 we must go to work, for the fact that, you know, I have to go out every day to work and um, it made me to, to feel for those who cannot even come out from morning, you know, till night, from Monday to Sunday. Uh, it has been weeks now, months, that people are, are just in us. Many people are feeling as if they are kind of house arrest. So I know how difficult it could be in this moment. But my message to you out there is never give up on yourself. This is not the time to throw up your toy. This is not the time to start, you know, asking unnecessary questions, questions that maybe no one out there can really give you the, the answer. You know, this is not the time to start doubting yourself or to start feeling down, you know. On the contrary, I think this is the time for each and every one of us to be strong. First, you be strong for yourself, and then you try to be strong for every other family member, you know, every other person you know, among your loved ones, your father, your mother, your brothers, your sisters, your children, you know, your partner, you know, try to reach out to as many people as you can, your friends, your colleagues. It's true that we cannot you know, connect with each other as we used to, like visit them physically, but at least thank God for the internet, thank God for social media platforms, and we can, you know, still be connected, even though we are not, I believe that, thanks to um, the internet, you know, we can stay um, connected. I think one positive thing that we should learn from what is happening in this uh, in this particular moment is the opportunity for, for people to be really connected. There's no any excuse to make now for not you know, reaching out to your loved ones, not reaching out for people that you know, matters. It is time for you. You have every time you need in the whole world now. Let's count this as you know uh, opportunity. Let's see it as opportunity. Okay. Let's count it as blessing because I know how hard it used to be in our today's society. You know, the rate of the you know the the, the rat race lifestyle that we lead it does not permit us to reach out to the people that really matter. You know, that don't have time for 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 ourselves to close to other people. In the morning you wake up. Before you know it, you're up to you know, school rounds, those that have children, those that have families, from school rounds to, to go to your you know, various uh, activities. Some go to their work, some go to you know, do one thing or the other. And before you know it, the day is fast, you know, they're gone. And they don't have time to shake on any other person, to shake on people that. Uh, really matters to shake on your friends, to shake on your, on your parents, you know, that are not uh, living with you in the same house. So uh, I want us to see this opportunity, uh, to see this moment as as opportunity, you know, let's not throw away this blessing in this guys. It's a blessing in this guys. I call them opportunities, you know. Let's not throw this opportunity away. Let's utilize it as long as it lasts, okay? Let's utilize it wisely. Let's be strong. Do everything you can do to stay grounded. Watch your mental health. Take care of yourself. Drink water. Eat vegetables. Eat fruits. More especially vitamins. Take in as much vitamins as you can. And if 
possible you take as much you know uh, as much sun as you can you need vitamin d so uh, just do everything you can to stay healthy and stay safe we need each other i believe that these two jamas one day everything we you know and all these things we are seeing today they will never last forever and i believe that in one way or the other we have been built to uh, face this crisis if you look within you you will find the strength that you need if you look within you you will find the strength that you need all we have been, all we have been through in life in one way or the other has prepared us for a moment like this it's possible that many people because of what is happening now will lose hope don't entertain negative conversations don't use your mouth to cause the blessings. Don't abort the prince. God is there in the, in the business. God has not abandoned you. You are not alone. God's got your back. He's got your back you know, in the past. He's got your back even now. And God, remember, God is the God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Tomorrow never ends. So God is still in that business. He is behind the scenes. He has not abandoned you. So I am pleading to each and every one of you that, that will have the opportunity to watch this video, that is watching this video. I don't know from which state or which country you are watching. And probably in your own country, there is lockdown going on right now. There are restrictions here and there. Please, let's reach out to as many people as we can, let's stay connected.